हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू कोड विथ आनंद इट्स गुड न्यूज या आई गॉट माय कम्युनिटी टैब टुडे सो या थैंक यू फॉर ऑल द सपोर्ट्स एंड इफ यू लाइक द सीरीज एंड वीडियोस ऑन माय चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब दिस वन एंड शेयर विथ योर फ्रेंड्स सो दैट आई कैन क्रिएट मोर एंड मोर वीडियोज फॉर यू सो या so in the previous video we talk about how to use set error to display errors and uh, display errors and uh, we can stop to move forward if there is any error so we got to know that how we can use the set errors to show the errors and everything so in this video i am going to talk about the new elements of the uh, sales uh, velocity uh, omni script that is known as messaging property so how we can use messaging and why messaging is required when it is required so i am going to talk about that only so before doing anything let's just deactivate this one and uh, then i'll show you how you can use that what is the use case of that so we'll know about that uh, messaging property today in this video and uh, if you have any doubts you can just let me in the comments about anything related to velocity and uh, you can just suggest the topic which you want to publish on the channel i will make video on that so okay so what we are going to do you can see uh, you can just type here message so this messaging property is generally used to display the message on some conditions if certain condition is satisfied like formula fields and that condition is satisfied this will display some message on the particular steps or uh, yeah so if you can see here uh, if you just click on this question marks it will let you know about this messaging property so display message in omni script you can see the headings display comments requirements success warning messaging depending on whether the validate expressions return true or false and how we can use that validate expression for that we have to use the formula fun so formula i'll show you how you can use that so if you can search here i'll show you so this is the formula which will calculate validations and if it is true on the basis of that we can use messaging property to display the message so let's see how we can create the formula and everything so for that you just need to click here and drag and drop here so this is formula here you need to give the name of the formula you can use the label then formula type is like what kind of formula you are going to use what value it's going to be returned so boolean currency date number you can use that i am going to keep it as a default right now and here you have to write the expressions so in uh, in some in, in next video i am i am going to show you how you can uh, where you can find those uh, expressions and functions which can be used here so i'll talk about in another video and then here is the hide button so it, once you preview if you don't click on this hide and if you try to preview it you will get the formula there as well i'll show you and then here the conditional value in which condition this formula will work this formula should be work so first uh, let's just write here account name validation i am writing this as a account name validation i am removing the label and then expression so for that what i have to do i am going to make a formula that if account name is empty or what so i am going to use if if function so you can see here and then true and then false conditions so i am going to make like this so i am going to remove this one and uh, to use anything you have to use this uh, uh, percentile sign double and you have to put it here if account name or we can use two things first we can use if condition on the basis of that it will return true or false or we can use because i am going to check that it's null or uh, what so i am going to use is blank uh, i think is blank is not available in the developer or so let's see use if block right now so if percentile sign account name exact equals to null then it should return true otherwise 
false so this is our expression so when this will return true when the account name is null it will return true otherwise it will return false okay and uh, i am going to use one messaging property first so when this message will be displayed so this message will be displayed when this formula will return true this formula expressions okay so i am going to keep it here conditional view and conditional view is like uh, this account name validation equals to true then this message should be displayed it means if the account name is null then this message should be displayed okay and the what can be the messaging property in success what you have to use here you need to give the message what message you want to display so for message i am going to write it here like uh, Mm, account name cannot be can't be empty. Okay, so this is our expressions. So to test this one, uh, we can use the label. Let's uh, preview it. Okay, so there is already data, so it will again execute. And let's see how this is going to be returned so okay maybe you can see i didn't click on the hide that's why you are seeing here the formula expressions to hide this one in our journey we need to check the checkbox and let's make this one uh, right now if you see here the account information and the account name validation is false and it's false that's why we are not able to see the message so we need to make it as a true then it will display so I am going to remove this one so as you can see here you can see here the account name is null in that case we are seeing the message account name cannot be empty this message should be full I don't know I will check that why this is not coming full so this way you can see you can display use the messaging property and uh, let me show you how you can do that so to formula you need to click here then you need to hide so that it will not display in the journey and uh, once it is saved then let's go to the message and uh, instead of success i am giving as a warning okay so it's warning account name cannot be empty or you can use label here as well i'll show you how you can use the label so let's preview it again so we are going to clear this three works and again here so you can see now the formula is gone you can't see this it's working in back end not in the front end and i'm going to make this one as a null so as soon as you click as a null you can see the warning that account name cannot be empty so this is very uh, cool and uh, yeah it's very user friendly so this way you can uh, keep some validations that this cannot be empty and you can use set error to move further like if i click next we have this uh, validations in it displaying in two places we can uh, modify this one so this is the way you can put something so this way you can uh, use to hide and uh, display the messaging prop uh, yeah some messaging so this is all about the messaging in the next video we will talk about uh, some other functionality so if you like this video please share with your friends and subscribe the channel and do let me in the comment section in which topic you are mostly interested so that i can make video on that thank you thank you everyone